Hey, my legion. How are y'all doing today? I want to do something a little different. I want to record, uh, do an MRE review and do it in real time as the time allotted to make an MRE. And this is, uh, when I was going through the MREs, I was pretty much thinking that's pretty much it for the MREs, kind of. Uh, I got a couple left, and I saw that they uh, had the upgrades. I had to look on a couple of things to see that the U.S. upgraded their MREs, and they changed some of the uh, original menus and replaced with a different entree. And this is menu 12. And what they replaced it with was... Let me shut that off. Yeah, originally it was menu 12. It was penne and veggie pasta and spicy tomato sauce and light. And, uh, yeah, penne. I mean, because they were kind of similar because menu 11 was veggie crumbles with pasta and taco sauce. Menu 12 was penne and veggie sausage and in uh, spiced tomato sauce. And this is what they replaced. They replaced with elbow macaroni tomato sauce. This is a vegetarian MRE. Uh, so, let's get ready to it. I was asked to do vegetarian stuff for my friend. Let's go ahead and try it out. Um, I'll show you the contents right here. For Lise and uh, Lior Azule. Okay. Content. Like I said, Warfighter tested. Recommended Warfighter test. Warfighter approved. And these ones are double packed. So the, I got the ones for, I got from Womack in Cincinnati, Ohio. We're not. I'll show you the content. We have... Uh, let me turn back to the... We have a chocolate protein drink powder. Get that. We got we got white wheat snack bread. Cool. <coughs> it has TFF means not tough tough for now. It means trans fat free. Right there. We got the uh, accessory pack, which I open up in a little bit. We have. Right here, this is the. Uh, ooh, we got pears. Ooh, that sounds good right there. Pears and that. I got a bowl for that. Pears. Okay. We got. I believe this is probably the main right here. This is the uh, elbow macaroni tomato sauce right here. And that's what's going to be heated up in this <coughs> flameless ration heater. The beverage bag, I never use the beverage bag. The beverage bag is kind of useless. You use it for measuring stuff, but it never, I, 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 it worked for me once successfully keeping the drink hot, but it usually doesn't work at all. The flame fraction heater, of course. That is the main. Then we got the MRE spoon. We got, and this goes with the drink, I mean the bread, uh, cheese bread right there we have once again we have uh bouillard's hot sauce that's awesome and for dessert we got sour skittles how about that now let's open up and see what's in the flameless i mean uh i'm getting ahead of myself the uh the accessory pack so, and we got got coffee creamer well we have this is always coffee instant type 2 spray dry that's what he was talking about there surprised to bring it back you got that we got creamer non-dairy because these are newer ones they said that they they had type 3 before but um uh, Steve uh 19 uh, Steve 1988 not Steve 1989 off memory info say he was surprised they brought this back we got iodized salt. Have moist towelette. Got sugar. We have, they say it's the toilet paper, but I mean, I would use it like a napkin or something like that. It ain't gonna help. That ain't enough. You know what I mean? Especially way, way I go. And last but not least, we have cinnamon gum. And how you can tell this is, uh, 
They use that two types of gum. Spearmint is in the clear pack and cinnamon is in the red pack right there. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do now is take, this is what takes the most time, so I'm going to do it first. You take the flameless ration heater. Wow. Okay, so what the notch is all the way down there? I don't know why the notch is all the way down there for it shouldn't be. It should be up here. So I'm just gonna get a scissor cut up here. I mean they put the notch right there, that's wrong. Uh you fill up the MRE right up to in between these two lines, and then you put the entree inside it. And then this heating element heats it up. Go ahead. I'm going to get the cut that with the scissors right now. They put the tear notches in the wrong space. You're not supposed to really have it there. It says operating instructions. Tear here to remove. Oh, tear here to use bag and the tear here to remove emery. Oh, okay. I see. I never did. I don't do that anyways. Well, maybe I do. I don't remember. Okay. But they don't have the tear notches at the top anyways. They still See if we can hear it sizzling. Okay. Now sometimes it's tricky to get these two in between the fill notches. Okay. May I did it? I got it on the first try. Oh. Uh, almost. It says don't overfill. Oops. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I put the the main entree in. Take this heat over here. Just over here. Just right here. Put this in, go fit in there. Sometimes it's a tight fit, but sometimes try people try to put more than one item in there, and you can't always do it like that. Okay, and then what some a lot of people do they they take the water, they go like this, and they make the water go all the way through the heating elements on the other side, like this. Do I can hear? It. Yeah, it's heating up. You can hear it. Never put this next to your ear. You might burn yourself. I mean, I... Gotta be real careful. Okay. I'll just sit this down. Let's do a thing. Next, we're going to open up... I should have brought that pair of scissors over. Oh, it's going off now. It's going off now. I should have just left that here. There. What the hell was I going to do? Get my scissors now. Take the scissors. What I'm going to do now is open up the uh, white snack bread. Because that's like the main snack. They don't have a lot. Well, they have the pears too. See if you can hear it. That's going off now. I don't know if you can see it boiling. It's really hot. Can you hear it? Okay. It's really boiling now. In 10 minutes, so I like 28. Okay. Open up the. Now, there's no. Not going to be hiss because it says that. Uh, vacuum sealed. Man, the bread that looks like this, they try to make it look like regular bread, but you all know it's not. They have like a thing where you cut it in half, but you have to have it like a knife or something like that. So I, what I do is I take the cheese right here. Just snip off the end. 
they have a thing when you rip it, but it's a pain to ask to rip, you know, this thing with the cheese. Try a little bit of a similar like a cheese with something like that on the finger. It's pretty good. I give it a, a, a 7 out of 10. But you just put it on. Uh, it's all about calorie, uh, you know, just getting the much nutrition you need if you're on the field and stuff with these. I might have some cheese spread left over I can use on pepperoni sandwich or something like that. What it looks like on the bread. That's not like art or not like that. Try to bed by itself. Yeah, it's very dense. It's okay. I give it a six out of ten. With the cheese, it probably brings it back up to a 7. A mile 7 out of 10. Hmm. So after waiting for that, we can make the... Um, those stuff. The beverage powder. How many... For use in a lot of chemical. Three minutes. Tear pouch and notch open. So add eight ounces of cold water. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it in this because it makes it far better. This is just a giant mess waiting to happen. What we're going to do is open this up and pour the contents in here and add eight ounces of water. I'm going to measuring cup. time because it takes a while to prepare I mean soldiers in the field they're under complete so I mean some of this is takes a while I'm taking my time you know whenever I was in the field we had MREs um, well it was, a little, it was so different back then in 80, 88 you know we were having we had to like make sure we were quick Add eight ounces of water. Okay, that's done. Take another bite of this. Probably gonna make the coffee too, hell of it. I have a day off. It's like me drinking coffee, but oh. ounces a cup of water but usually they have like a fruit drink and this is more like chocolate and coffee but that's all right I guess I don't know how well it goes with pasta but It says it's very uh, powdery, so that's why it's good to have this. What you can do with this, 
shake it up real well. It would take forever to shake it up in that other thing. Like that beverage base powder stuff. Put it in a glass. It's like pain in the butt to try to, you know. know if this is done or not. Okay. Should be done now. Let's try it out. This is a uh, chocolate protein uh, base powder. Still bits of powder in it. It's like drinking cold cocoa. It has a weird taste. I'm, this isn't that good. It's good enough to finish, but oh, I don't like that aftertaste. That's like a 2 out of 10. I don't like that, but oh well. That's why I'm glad I'm making the coffee. I never had the spray drive coffee before. I always had the freeze drive type three, I think. I'm sure the coffee will balance this this out. And right there. I don't like that at all. In a couple minutes, that uh, the main entree be ready. I'm going to coffee in the kettle. I'm filming on Friday night. People are like, I shouldn't eat the coffee, but I think I'll be okay. You know? Get the coffee opened up. Is it real time? The long review, but that's all right. And more even reviews are generally long anyway. There's so much meals ready to eat but you have to do a lot sometimes of prepping or heating them up and stuff like that you know sometimes okay. there we go there we go let's open up the MRE spoon the spoon Bread. Great number one uncle cup. Hope Taylor and Adrian still think I'm the number one uncle. Hope so. Ready to stir it up. You got the heat on. Of course. Winter time. Let it sit like five minutes. Can't do that. Uh, Steve Night Night that makes it like musical when it has the thing going off. Why, well, damn, that's hot. I might be more than five minutes for that one. Go ahead and try out the main entree. And turn entrees don't work. Well, I got scissors. Let's 
Let's go pretty hot. That flaming rash you didn't do as well as some of the other ones did. A little disappointed. Okay. Open it from the top right here. Once again, I gotta use the scissors. Those tear notches don't work that well. I'm sure soldiers on the field have a knife or something. I don't think I did. I can't remember what I had. It was like, God, that was a long time ago. Let's take it. Put on the pleat. It smells good. It smells, uh, has a good spice to it. it. Smells like it has herby, herby goodness in it. Not herby love bug. Okay. Okay. Get the car. Okay. Squeeze it on out. Wow. Not once. Almost a solid sheet, though. Because it's all like, you know, ready for you to eat and stuff like that. But still, soldiers have a lot of time to give you an idea. Well, take my time, but soldiers have to go through. But I mean, like, I mean, Meredith said they didn't have, we had, like, with ours, we didn't have a flameless trash heater because they weren't invented yet. We had, uh, when we got ours, there was like a big, big sack, said cold water, big sack, said hot water. And a lot of times we just ate, they ate right out of the pouch without heating up or anything like that. I mean, hot, hot water for like, you know, cold water for drink, they had like a Kool-Aid we had, and then hot water for like, uh, the coffee. And Meredith was saying like, uh, when she was in the military, they, they went ahead and just, uh, they didn't have the time to mess around with the uh, flame of rash heat, so they just used, like, put on an engine block and heat, heat it up like that. But back then, we didn't have, we didn't heat it up. We just ate it cold out of the thing. And this was back in, like, 88. I was, no, 80, well, 87, 88. Meantime, I had the MREs. Make sure everything's out of the pouch. Hope you like the MRE review this way. Lisa and Lior, I hope you like this vegetarian MRE review. Okay. This is what uh, what it looks like. It doesn't look too plain. You got mixed up a little bit. Right away, the sauce tastes pretty decent. Has a hurt good herbal quality to it and some spice. Not bad and very filling. I give that a eight and a half out of ten. Let's try it with hot sauce on it. Once again, the tear notches don't work. No, I don't, okay, it worked on this one. Now this is like a clear vinegar-based hot sauce. Let's see if you can see it. Nope, no, it didn't cut it all the way. Always make sure to have scissors or something. Open up all the way. Now let's try it out now. I like a clear sauce on it. Usually they have like crushed red pepper, but I want to use what they gave me. I mean, actually, that you don't really have to flavor this up. Well, the the sauce itself is really good. The macaroni is low; it can be a little bit to be desired. Hot sauce gives it a good kick. Hot sauce, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's really good. Let's see what time it is. I'm going to give the coffee a couple more minutes. First time trying type 2 uh, sprayed, sprayed dried coffee. I always had the type 3 freeze dried. Not bad. Finish off the, this piece that I put the skittle on it. Hmm. 
But after this, I'm going to open up the pears. Put it in a bowl. Mm. I might as well do it now. Coffee's still hot, but I'm going to be drinking in about uh, three minutes. I'm going to bite of this. I think it kind of sucks now that chocolate protein drink. It's awful. I should have cut this up, but I don't get out syrup all over the place. It would be a disaster. And you, and sometimes with the tear notch, they're really d down low. You cut up top. You don't have to miss, uh, have the juice all over the place. The tear notch is down here, and you have a big chance of spilling everything all over. Well, this should come out easy. Okay. There we go. Take a spoon of that. And get all the sauce out. And kind of like, I'll show you in a second. It's kind of like, I don't know if it's quite like, uh, oh, what the hell? Like fruit cocked or something like that, but hopefully they'd be good. That's why I got real pears. I miss they used to have freeze dried pears and plums back when I was. In the military, I love those things. Oh, I put it in here. Good trash bag too, right in there. I put the beverage bag. This beverage bag had is useless. I thought it was just me. I had no luck with. It. I thought maybe other soldiers did, and then I heard other MREs saying like they never use the beverage. Uh, Beverage bag. Okay. Should give you a shot of what this looks like down here. What the uh, pears look like. Check this out. Which what they look like right there. Put this back up. Okay. Let's try it out. I'm pretty good. A little mushy, but they do taste pretty decent. I give these eight out of ten. Try some of that coffee. Damn, it's still hot. That's good. That's really good. Let's see how it counters this. We don't like to have to taste this at all. Well, it does counter it somewhat. It's just so hot. So far, so good. Let's try the sour Skittles. Mm. Bite-sized candies, natural artificial flavors. They got a, a grape, green apple, lemon, orange, and strawberry. I think these are a little bit messed up. Side, I don't know. Them up just slightly. Yeah, boy, it was kind of messed up. I know they didn't get. Oh, are they supposed to be coated like this, made of sour, like all coat on the outside with that stuff? Okay, I see what you mean. Okay, I see what you mean, burn. Okay, they got a whole bunch on there now. Okay, let's try these out. Got orange first. Sour orange. A little sour. 
Let's go. That one's a... Where's that thing at? I'll put this in here. No. I must have enough time. Green, it's green apple. Okay, green apple. We call it that citric acid stuff. Sour for like a two second. Hmm. Green apple's okay. Got lemon. The best thing you and just uh put it in your mouth a little bit, get all the sourness out. And the sourness that's the way you taste sour. If you try to chew it, you don't taste sour that much. Lemons don't like I'm gonna seven out of ten. Try strawberry. Probably have a little more flavor and stuff. I could have ate it. Pretty good. Last not least, let's try to bake. Grape is okay. Yeah, seven two. Well, actually, I give us six and a half. I thought it'd be better. Put these in here. Save these for later. You know that stuff on citric acid. Last but not least, let's try the cinnamon gum and the palate cleanser. Let's have some more coffee first. That's hot. Now after this, I have to wait a while to finish everything off. Now this is such a palate cleanser. The cinnamon gum. I have to cut this open. I gave my sister some of this stuff. She didn't know what to do with it. It says it's bubblegum. You eat it. Well, you chew it. You don't eat it. You chew it. I don't usually chew bubblegum. That's probably the most, with that and those Japanese packs that had the gum in it, that's probably the most gum I had in a long time. Mmm. That's really good. The can of coating right there. That's a 10 out of 10 right there. I like it far better than the spearmint. So. There you have it. All that stuff on here. There you have for menu 12, double mac and tomato sauce. What I think of it overall, pretty decent, but that chocolate protein powder shake really brought it downhill. Yeah, I mean, the uh, strongest things were the, the gum, 
uh, coffee, pears, and uh, elbow macaroni, and tomato sauce. Those are the best components. And the overall score, score, let me say seven. Well, just because of this, it uh, takes it down, because usually the average score is with seven. Because this was so bad, I could take it down to six and a half out of ten. The other things brought it up to a bit, but not enough to completely save it. So that's my review of the Menu 12 Album Macaroni and Tomato Sauce. I hope you like it. Long video, but a vegetarian review. So, until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion.